What's up, Kensetians? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome in to this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my Kansadian gods. All right, babies, this is going to be for the month of September. We're going to find out what's crowning you. And then we're also going to find out what's going on in your love life and what's popping in money. Okay. So, finances, career, things of that nature. Y'all already know how I get down. So, let's see what's going on. I'm going to figure out what's crowning you, Kensetians. The very first card. We're going to jump into this shit right now. So, make sure you all hit that motherfucking like button while you're here. I didn't get any clear audience messages for you can't set in. But I feel like some of you guys just need to go with the motherfucking flow. Here we go. Okay, so very first card that's crowning you, Kansetians. We have the Will of Fortune here. Okay, talk to me. So this is time that's changing, things that are changing. This could be destiny that's going into your favor as well. You could be dealing with um, multiple people here or multiple energies for a lot of you guys with this Wheel of Fortune, but things are moving ahead. I'm also seeing a lot of time and timing, okay? Some of you guys might be utilizing a lot of your instruments or just all together. Uh, you got the wand energy here, the pentacles. You got everything you need. That's all across the motherfucking board. Some of you guys might be studying, studying astrology as well. But I'm picking up that you can't set hands. There's something new that's coming up that spirit wants you to know with this will of fortune here. I mean, you definitely have... Um, you definitely have a new start for a lot of you guys with this Wheel of Fortune here. Let's get uh, another card clarifying this Wheel of Fortune. Very first card is the Two of Wands. So things are definitely changing up for you, Kansetti. And I'm getting with this Two of Wands energy here. You're taking these actions and putting them into the palm of your motherfucking hands with this Two of Wands energy here. Okay. Uh, but I do feel like with this Wheel of Fortune... There's something that's becoming immediate, okay? Or there's something that's speeding up a process. Uh, but I definitely pick up with this Wheel of Fortune here. You guys got things that are moving, but clarifying that with the Two of Wands, to me, it looks like you're discovering something new. Um, I also feel like um, for some of you guys, this is you setting out to see new things as well. So... Since this being a major arcana that's coming out, I feel like uh, this is definitely, uh, you know, the poor becoming rich, okay? Or something that was at a level that was fluctuating. I feel like there was, there's something that's being heightened here, okay? Because definitely destiny or an opportunity, definitely feeling like you're winning, okay? But I'm getting with the two of wands, you know, this is definitely a chance to make things change or a chance of change that's happening in a new discovery. So let's find out what's going down, Kansetians. I do see the Ten of Pentacles energy here. So some of you guys might be dealing with money, finances, dealing with things in the house and the home as well. Some of you might be feeling like you're losing out, but we're going to get to that. So let's get your life's purpose cards, Kansetians. Give it to me for Kansetians for the month of September up in this bitch. All right, we have animals. You understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trusting your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. So I know I got me some fish, y'all, but 
for some reason the flow of the water is not making itself proper you know enough for them to get the oxygen and the air bubbles that they need in their in the tank so i have to keep adjusting the tank um but i love animals i love everything about nature all together so i definitely understand this card and i know intuitively there's some things that i need to fix in their environments or knowing what they need and making it happen so i'm gonna have to fix that <laughs> I'm going to have to fix the motherfucker. So we have a speaker here. Your life's purpose involves your skills of oration. Cancerians. You also have everything you've experienced in your life has made you stronger and courageous. So a lot of you Cancerians are experiencing some major strength here. Music and animals could be very important for a lot of you guys. I'm getting that some of you guys could be making music or music could be inspiring you to do something new. But definitely speaking up the truth is what I'm getting here, Cancetians. Now, I also pick up that some of you guys are into divination. Some of you guys might be dealing with tarot readers. You also might be a tarot reader yourself. Okay? Or listening to tarot is definitely going to guide you in a good direction. So let's see what's popping. I'm already seeing the Six of Wands energy here. Okay? Spirit is flashing it to me. Okay? So there's something successful coming up. You're going to see your praise and your accolades. People clapping for you, baby. Okay. So let's see what's going down. We have five of cups in reverse with spiritual teachers. So I do feel like there is something that you're learning in your emotions and in, uh, you know, what you're understanding in your career and in your finances. You have the justice energy here. So I'm picking up that there's something that's becoming justified. You're having this equal balance in your career. Okay. Now, this could also be in your finances as well, cutting some things off and definitely obtaining what is fair and what is. Uh, of equal okay value but i definitely pick up that a lot of you guys are going to be successful coming up this could be um with this ace of swords here this is definitely some sort of communication or you guys are communicating i'm getting that there could be some things from the past that might come up where there's some intrusion or people are definitely like upset can't set in your career but i definitely feel with the nine of cups you're gonna have this turnout of your own happiness okay because I do have the Five of Sword energy here in reverse. There could be an ending that's happening or there could be some disruptions, changes in people's mental uh, health that might be happening that you might have to put an end to with this Ten of Swords energy here. Okay, so I'm definitely picking up in your career. There's something that's coming to an end. There could have been people that were betraying you, people that were um, seeing that you could have been a backstabber here or there could have been a lot of things and black magic that were happening in your career. I'm also picking because this bitch got knives and swords in this month. But <laughs> so definitely an ending. Okay, this month is tired. <laughs> so I feel in your career there could be something that's coming to an end, or this is just your financial uh new phase that you're getting ready to step into, Cassetti. And so get your ass ready. All right. Some of you guys are starting a new beginning with this full energy here that's popping out, baby. Okay, look how she is kitten and smitten up in this bitch. Whether masculine or feminine, I do feel there is a new beginning that's coming towards you. Now, I think that, you know, Kent Sandy, and we're definitely ruled by the moon. Um, but I also feel like this is, you know, a new start or a new beginning. This could have been during that, you know, full moon or the new moon that's coming up. Uh, the Pisces moon on the 1st, I believe. But I definitely feel like um, some of you guys are ready for a new turn of events. You're ready for a new start and a new journey in your uh, endeavors is what I'm seeing here. Finances as well, too. Some of you guys could be starting over. So let's see what's popping in love. <laughs> All right, here we go. Romance angels. For my Cancetians. I got one card that keeps sticking out. All right, here we go. Cancetian babies. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. Now, I know when I get up in the morning every single motherfucking day, I know it's all about me. I don't care what nobody say. You got to be selfish in the motherfucker out here, okay? Whether it's your love or not, you have to know boundaries. You also know how to give yourself and to, you know, take some back. You know what I'm talking about? So definitely taking care of yourself. People will see that when they, when you're taking care of yourself, they will take care of themselves too. And a motherfucker will see that they need to either step their motherfucking game up or you're going to see where you need to level up when it comes down to loving yourself first. Talk to me, Cansadians. So we also have let your friends help you ask for support from others. 
So getting some sort of um, some advice. This could be from a brother, sister that might be coming to you or you might be coming to them about some advice. But I'm definitely picking up. You need to get some support, making sure that you have a backup plan. Cancetians in love. I'm also picking up there's some chemistry, baby. So somebody's wanting to, you know, spend a little bit of time with your Cancetian. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I'm also seeing, you know, on the flip side, there could be some things that you're having to forgive altogether, but I'm picking up that, you know, there's some red flags you're having to pay attention with your partner or things that have transpired altogether. Cat said, you guys are kind of looking over your shoulder, ready for this motherfucker to do some fuckery towards you. Okay. But I definitely feel like you've obtained a lot of information. Okay. This could be from your Akashic records, but I feel like there are some things that you need to stay, you know. A little bit more open-minded to just be aware that there could be some deception that's around you or some things that you're gonna have to pay attention to somebody might be trying to forgive and you might be having to learn from this motherfucker because they happen to forgive so just be you know just be aware of that but i do feel you're gonna have to stay optimistic about your love life and make some efforts great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take so in love there is something that you are guided here to take guided to do that spirit's going to give to you Okay, so you can continue on in your journey. I do feel like some of you guys might have an engagement here as well because I do see engagement. But I'm feeling like somebody has to deal with some issues or they're having to, you know, take care of themselves first before they give in to everybody. So let's go ahead and jump into this shit and we're going to find out what's going on between you and your partner. For the month of September, let me get my shuffle on, baby. Do have the Ace of Cups here. So there could be some love that could be coming towards you. Also see the Will of Fortune once again. So there's something that's definitely changing or revolving. Let's see what's going down between you and your partner. All right. Five of Wands here. Page of Swords. So I already feel like. Between you two, there's an energy um, that there's some disappointment. It could have been because of other people or it could have been because of competition. Someone's having to continuously watch. Uh oh, I'm trying to get fresh on camera. Somebody has to continue. <laughs> Somebody has to continuously watch your partner or you have to watch them. Whatever the case may be, I feel like a lot of you Kansetians are coming out of a disagreement because um, I have the seven of wands somebody's having to make it up to you but I also have the hermit energy here so some of you guys like I said you're not really trusting certain uh things here so it could be that somebody's been you know extremely guarded or there's been a lot of competition or a lot of people that were around that were causing struggles and mental conflict but I feel uh with this queen of pentacle energy here some of you guys are definitely have some changes you're gonna be focusing on your New motherfucking beginning, can't say anything. This is all on your side. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, also Cancer, uh, Pisces, or Pisces. And I'm also getting Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. But you got some new, fresh energy that's explosive here, can't say anything. It could be with a, uh, I'm also getting Taurin as well. But there's something going on financially that needs to come together. Or somebody's, you know, very in and out with this Knight of Swords here. They need to be a little bit more flexible when it comes down to their partnership or how they're able to, like, you know, melt and manage. But I'm definitely picking up that Cancerians. You got a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Also, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Um, I feel like there's definitely somebody that's knocked somebody off of their foundation with the Ten of Pentacles here. So let's see, Kent said in how they feel about you. Let's see how they feel about us, Kent Sadians. I do get Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Energy could be around you, or somebody needs to make a motherfucking action and make a move, okay? And be quick and manage that shit uh with wit. Okay. <laughs> here we go. How they feel about you. Six of Swords energy here. Wow. Three of Pentacles, so can't say I feel like you've moved away from a third party situation. It could have been, um, you know, some changes that have happened. You've taken a lot of mental energy and just moved the fuck on, and you're no longer wanting to process certain things with other people or having builds of relationships with other people is what I'm seeing here with this Three of Pentacles is definitely how they see you. Um, they feel like 
there's some action that they need to make towards you with this Queen of Cups. Also with the world energy and the Knight of Cups here with the world in reverse. There's something that's incomplete that they feel, uh, you know, was left behind. Or you could be feeling like this was left behind. But I'm definitely picking up with this Two of Pentacle energy here. Somebody is, you know, going back and forth to and fro with how they going to do shit and get shit done. Okay. Uh, making a decision. But I feel like there's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's coming in your energy. It's definitely how they feel. Or somebody is getting ready to take over, Ken Sadian. You have the Empress here. So I do see that there is a lot of love that they're viewing you as. Some of you all, this could be, you know, you could be the mother of somebody's child. But I also feel like, you know, they need to keep you interested as well. Is how they feel about you with this Empress Energy Four of Cups. Like, you're just turning down offers. You're not really excited. It's kind of a struggle to deal with extra motherfuckers if they're not giving you the love that you desire and deserve is how they feel about you. <laughs> I'm also getting emperor energy here. So there is a couple or there is a um, a pair that's here with this emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries as well. Katsadian, talk to me. Um they definitely feel like you guys are matching up together or there's going to be some sort of matchup. I'm definitely getting some sort of competition or there could be some things between each other that you're getting together. But what, since we had that Wheel of Fortune, I do feel like things are definitely speeding up for a lot of you can't set um, Let's see. Um, the unexpected can't What's the unexpected for my can't Six of Pentacles, wow, Ten of Pentacles up in this bitch. Can't say anything. You guys got some new money or new energy that's coming in. Some of you guys might have come through a struggle, but you got a hot passion to start here. You got the Ace of Wands up in this bitch, but I'm definitely seeing that some of you guys might be having to transfer money back and forth, but I'm picking up the unexpected is there is a new financial substantial beginning. Can't say anything. Y'all better... Ooh, y'all better shake that money maker, baby. <laughs> Somebody could be dishing out money. You could be dealing with a Libra as well, too. But I feel like um, some of you guys are tipping the scales, going back and forth with what's even. But you got some unexpected money and some hot. Um, to me, this could be, you know, I'm getting two wands to three wands here. So there could be like opportunity that's coming towards you or a fresh opportunity. You're going to have to make a choice or a decision. And I see that you're definitely making a choice with that Ace of Wands, Kent Setti. And this looks absolutely wonderful. Okay. Unexpected energy. I do feel like um, some of you all need to get some sleep if you're going to get some sleep. But there's some truth that's going to be coming out because you got the sun and the moon coming in together. Okay. So there could be some things oppositional wise, you know, that sun and moon that you're going to be seeing the truth to. Okay. Talk to me. This could be as some certain phases are going down in the astrological uh, realm, but I'm picking up a lot of you guys already know the truth towards a mystery or there is something that's going to be uncovered for a lot of you guys that you were kind of waiting on and anticipating. So the anticipation is hot than a motherfucker. I do feel like with this Wheel of Fortune energy here, unexpected, this is major, major change. Destiny, okay, that's beginning a position of fortune. That's what I'm seeing here. Talk to me, Kansetians. Unexpectedly, baby. Now, I do feel like um, some of you guys might be in your head, worried. You might have anxiety. You might deal with a lot of manic um, type of episodes. Or there could be just some things that you might be dealing with all together in your head about an Aquarius energy. I feel like you're healing towards that. Especially once you see, because like I said, there's justice here with an Aquarius energy. I feel with this Knight of Pentacles, somebody is definitely making them way towards you. They might be having to show or dis or depict loyalty, okay? So, there's something unexpected. Kansanians, y'all got a lot of new money popping up, all right? Some help coming towards you. It also could be a marriage as well with this Four of Wands energy here. Let's see if there's um, anything new for my Kansanians. What's new for my Kansanians for the month of September? Here we go. Okay, so 
You definitely have a torn energy that could be around you or their opposite Scorpio. But I feel like uh, with this Taurus energy, somebody is definitely holding on to a situation or they could, there could be some things that people are holding on to. It could be their emotions. I'm also getting somebody could be holding on to money as well. Or somebody is definitely not telling you the full on truth about what they're doing with their finances and they're keeping that poker face on. Okay, this definitely could be you can't say it in, but I definitely feel what's new is you got two different energies. Either you're going to be cutting some motherfucking shit off or you're going to be hot than a motherfucker. You could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, also Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see why this is here with this Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords energy. Nine of Wands. I feel like somebody's having to... It's like they know that they've... Uh, they know definitely that they've either ran out of love or they feel like that you're going to cut them off in love. This could be somebody from the past that's coming back to you with an offer as well. Okay, this could be somebody who needs to come to you with some flowers. But <laughs> this could be weed flowers. Okay, this could be the weed man as well. Somebody bringing some weed man gifts. But I'm getting with the Ace of Cups here. Somebody has got some love that's unexpected from the past. Magician energy here, Nine of Swords. You just don't know if you can trust the situation is what I'm picking up here. Cansadians is definitely what I'm seeing with this magician. Could have been somebody who's... Um, done some very dark things or could have done some really uh childlike lower level energy or could have been in that state i'm definitely getting scorpion energy here also eddies gemini and virgo cancerians but i definitely feel like there's some sort of change that's coming it could be with a scorpion energy but i feel like there's somebody who's willing to work together willing to study a situation yeah ten of cup energy here there could have been somebody who knocked somebody off of a foundation or just altogether the family situation was having some issues or somebody's having some family issues but i'm definitely picking up this could be domestic violence as well too with this ten of pentacles or ten of cups in reverse i'm also getting for some of you can settings with the two of pentacle energy here somebody's making a decision towards a leo sagittarius aries they're going to figure out if they're cutting them off or if they're going to be fucking with them but I feel with this full energy here, you got some new beginnings once again, Kent Setting, and starting over. But just be careful with the energy and the meticulous, uh, like little downfalls and bullshit, okay, that you need to pick yourself up on. I feel like whatever's news coming towards you, you're going to be able to start over. Somebody could be coming back with forgiveness, or there could be some things you might be seeing online that you blocked off because you know that it keeps you emotional. I feel like for some of you guys, there could be um, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that needs to come in and bring you some motherfucking income, or this person is very childish and childlike. Um, but I definitely feel like there, whatever is new, um, you're going to be cutting off what doesn't serve you straight like that. And whatever is good to you, you're going to be keeping it. High Priestess energy here. Okay, so Spirit is giving you the chance to know and be an annoying. And I feel like with the High Priestess, you're going to be seeing some truths that are unveiled to you, especially with that moon and that sun, the sun and the moon. Okay, so let's see about possible. Uh, well, let's check out my singles and then we'll do possible outcomes. What's going on with my singles? I'm going to get um, my after tarot. What's going on with my single Cancerians? I keep feeling like some of you guys are, you know, stuck in your head. It could be about um, a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy or getting justice, getting some sort of karma. So let's see what's popping, Cancerians. For my singles. Here we go. Single Cancerians for September. We have the two of pentacles in reverse and also the ten of pentacles. Well, talk to me, baby. Okay. So I'm definitely seeing some of you guys are making decisions. You might be concentrating on your financial career for some of you singles. I'm definitely picking up. You might have been dealing with somebody or you could have been the person that was dealing with multiple people or you could be with multiple people. But I feel like if you are single, some of you guys are standing in your hurt and you're needing to move the fuck on. With this page of cup energy here, you might be getting a good message, okay? Because once you move the fuck on, that's when new doors is ready to open. Okay, why the fuck open? So have your eyes wide open. That's what I'm seeing here. Can't set in. Also could be with a uh, 
a Leo Sagittarius Aries definitely picking up Leo here with this strength that could be coming towards you it could be just a friendship that you might want to look out for okay but I'm also seeing some of you guys are still getting rid of an old third party situation and heartbreak things from the past so it's time to move the fuck on Cansadians okay see what's new that's out there baby let's see possible outcomes give me three cards for Cansadian with possible outcomes Okay, Tower Energy, Judgment, Two of Wands. So there's definitely something that's changing here. Either you're in a relationship uh, that could be in a lot of changes, okay, that are happening. Scorpio Energy. I'm also getting with a judgment. Somebody is called to think outside of the box in a relationship or what they think or value about relationships. But I'm definitely getting a lot of explosive energy with this Emperor. I'm also getting there could be a uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries energy that you might be cutting off, but I see a lot of success. You guys are in control. Okay. But definitely a lot of changes that are happening. Inevitable changes. Okay. This could be a family situation where somebody's afraid that they might walk away, but I'm definitely getting you got justice on your side here with this. Uh, justice energy also six of wands there's a victory getting ready to take place okay somebody is coming out of the battle starting over fresh and new with this full energy here and also with the ace of cups i'm definitely picking up a lot of you guys have love coming in most definitely scorpio is right behind that ace of cups so there's an offer here gifts of love that are going to be surrounding you with success cancetians Let's see what the oracle messages have to say. It says thinker. And I did keep seeing that page of swords. So there could be somebody who's plotting and planning. Okay, it might be some karma energy that I'm picking up here with this tower as well. Some of you guys might be getting some get back. It's a never ending story and round and round. Yeah, so I feel like there could be some karma or somebody is trying to like, you know, stay away from karma or build themselves away from dealing with people that are uh, in between worlds and don't know who they really truly are want to trust or you know just figure out if you're wanting to deal with a motherfucker but yeah never ending story so building blocks and new life so some of you cancetians are watching and i definitely pick up that there is something that you're going to be observing here as well in your new life so somebody's looking and lurking looks like a never ending story but you have a new life that's present towards you and some of you guys if you're going by the book it might be helping you come out of that chaos and conflict, okay? All right, my loves, I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal reading from me, hit that description box down below. Check out my website, CansadiansLorelsMoon.com. I love you guys all so much, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.